Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization, and I have a question. Are seed oils bad for you? You might think so, but you may be wrong. Uh Uh-oh. So you hear this claim very often that seed oils specifically, things like canola oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, et cetera, are specifically bad for your health, maybe even very bad for your health. And a lot of the folks that promulgate this idea do it with a genuine belief that it is true, so no hate against them at all. A lot of them come from the keto community, the carnivore community. A lot of them are politically conservative. You know, leftists have their own brand of, I have to be vegan and everything and kiwis and avocados every hour kind of diet fads. No offense, leftists, you're great in many other ways. Uh, So, you know, like you're conservative, you got a tribal tat, you hate big pharma, you think COVID is a hoax. Uh, but you also shoot bathtub trend, the powder from which came from China, our literal enemy in geopolitics. I haven't put those two and two together. If you're sure as shit, put the trend into your thigh and coughed a bunch. But you know that the trend is just, you know it's bad for you, but it just gets you lean and jacked and kills you slowly and makes you go insane, whatever. But you're health conscious. So, you know, seed oils are definitely bad. And even though you technically actually shoot seed oils into your body from the fucking... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the the literal oil that suspends your trend is a seed oil. Uh, you know seed oils are bad for you when you eat them. So you don't eat them because you're a conscious person. Now, here's the thing. There's part truth to this. And it's the idea that repeatedly heated oils, like French fry oil that's heated and cooled, heated and cooled, heated and cooled, undergo some chemical alterations that probably are not great for your health. And that's probably true. And like the way you do reheat oils is like you eat junk food that's deep fried. So fucking stop doing that all the time. Yes, junk food is not very healthy for you if you eat a ton of it. If you eat a little bit every now and again, it's totally fine. But yeah, you don't want to live your life on junk food. But what about just seed oils that haven't been repeatedly reheated? Are they bad for you? Well, uncharacteristic, because usually this is just a sort of narrative channel. We don't do deep dive literature reviews. We save that for other folks like the MASS Mass Review, uh, James Krieger's Weightology Review, which I highly encourage you to read, um, Stronger by Science folks, Greg Knuckles. They have a great review they put out that does deep dives and literally it gets you really into the literature. But for this, I have to get into the literature because otherwise if I just say, hey, look, I looked at the literature, people just won't believe me, which is totally cool. So fuck it, here you go. Right there, you see the PubMed links. You just type in the PMIDs and, and you'll get right into uh, the re- research itself. And you can look at offshoot articles and related reviews. And after about 20 minutes, you're going to be like, okay, fine. Looks like uh, looks like uh, seed oils are not bad. And here's the thing. So uh, linoleic and arachidonic acid, which are hugely uh, found in very high concentrations in many seed oils, uh, they actually correlate, ex- high exposure to them correlates with less cardiovascular disease risk than lower exposure. So it's kind of weird. Like it's supposed to be bad for you, but they're actually, the more of them you eat, the better on average. Strange. Okay. That's at least relieving to hear. Diabetes and all-cause mortality research over the long term shows that linoleic acid is actually helpful, and arachidonic acid seems to be neutral. That just does not hurt your diabetic or long-term all-cause mortality outcomes, and there's quite a few reviews and studies that say really the same thing, and those are all posted right there. And a lot of times, yes, it is good to consume more omega-3s. So definitely add them in, omega-3 heavy oils, which are commonly not seed oils. But don't just take all seed oils or or omega-6 heavy oils out because there needs to be a balance and they're totally fine for your health in that balance. So the idea that seed oils are bad for you, again, I would 100% be on that if it was true. But if you look at the literature, it's just not true. And I don't have big oil doesn't pay me money. I wish they did. Hey, listen, big oil, if you're out there, your boy is starving to death. Give me that green and I'll lie for you every day of the week. Unfortunately, I've said this many times, no one's ever called, no one ever writes, no emails. So I just have to say true shit, which is you analyze the literature and it looks like seed oils, just not something to be scared of and they're not really bad for you. You could probably just say junk food's bad for you and leave it at that, but that's so boring and it's so non-sciency and I guess it just doesn't get the clicks anymore. So... Yep, seed oils are totally fine for you in most contexts, and they're not especially deleterious for your health. And um, see you guys in the comments, specifically conservative males in their mid-40s that work on cars when they're not 
at their day job and get really angry at me and have tribal tattoos. But um, just how it be sometimes. All right. Bullshit. Thanks, Arnold. Anyway, see you guys next time.